I'm your host, Christina Keller. Thanks for sticking around. I always try to think of a different way to say instead of welcome back, welcome back. But I knew nobody would go away because Demetra George is my special guest today. Uh, we left off with a really interesting, um, what I want to talk a little bit more about, this um, fundraiser and concert you're doing for the blind children at Cedar sinai But before we get to that, I do have to give a couple shout-outs to uh, some events coming up in Vegas, some that I've attended. Uh, next Friday at Stoney's at Town Square, they're having their ninth anniversary party, and that's like total uh, line dancing, mechanical pulls. I know, too bad you guys aren't going to be here. Yeah, really. <laughs> Beer pong, and they're going to have a special uh, live performance by country western music star Keith Anderson at 10. That's uh, not this Friday, but next Friday. We have a French export in town, and you tell me, is it Javier? Or Xavier. Somebody goes, no, you have to pronounce the X if it's French or whatever. I always said Javier Mort Mortimer, so I'm going to pronounce it, I guess, I that think way. So. And uh, he has an act at Planet Hollywood. He's adding two more shows on weekends uh, at Sin City Theater, and it's Javier Mortimer's um, Magical Dreams. <laughs> so keep an eye out for him. He's pretty funny. I haven't seen the show. I'm just telling you what's on my website in Jackie Brett's column. Um, Oh, of course, Caesar's Palace, and you guys be ready. I know you're here in town staying at mm -hmm. the Palazzo, but they're celebrating a 50th anniversary. We may go. And you may see fireworks. No, you will see fireworks Friday night, and Wonderful. I'm sure you'll have a bird's eye view Ooh. of that. Everybody is excited about it. It's a golden anniversary. I'm not invited, but it's okay. I'll just find something else to do. Um, <laughs> and the multi-platinum multi band Disturbed will be at the Joint at the Hard Rock on Friday, September 23rd. I mention that because... The Red Roof Inn, my sponsor, is across the street from the Hard Rock. Wonderful. I know. But you know what? With all the stuff going on in Vegas, I never have time, and it would bore you if I told you everything that's going on. So go to my website, VegasOnlyEntertainment.com. Under Vegas VIPs, there are tickets, times, dates, all the pertinent information. And now that that's done, I can get back to my fascinating well, I, you guest. Know, I'm hoping to get back here soon because... Um, the new Grand Opera of Las Vegas has its outreach with uh, the children. Taking, yes, the yes. children, and that's where everything begins. So they're yes. going to be taking their Hansel and Gretel out, and I will be coming back for either a concert or an opera with them in the next year. Awesome. And, and I'm waiting for a date. Um, the lovely uh, Chief of Protocol, Gail Anderson, and I are putting something together so that I come here Thank and you, do Gail. a performance for. Uh, the the diplomats who are now fundraising to send children overseas to study so it's actually a perfect union uh -huh. and i as a, a cultural ambassador through music and i'm very excited we don't have a date but when i do i promise to let you know and i promise eileen and gail that i will publish it in vegasonlyentertainment.com and we'll do some coverage of we it we will work on that for sure and so when i return um we're we're leaving back for overseas so i can get all my other concerts out of the way right and when we come back then i will go sing for the blind children in, at the santa Ana blind children's school and and they are the most wonderful people. Um, I belong to a ladies club and they bake. It's called Tall, Turkish American Ladies League. Ooh, and they baklava. take, yes, they take pastries. I bake baklava and take. And those kids have touched my heart. I cannot tell you. The first time I was told that I would be seeing someone in a hospital or who wasn't like me was when I was Miss Oklahoma or Miss Teenage Oklahoma and I was visiting soldiers as part of my my charity work and I saw kids kids young soldiers 18 who had been burned by Agent Orange and oh. I walked in and I walked out and my mother said you go back these kids need to visit with you I wrote to some of them for 20 years mm. but I learned then that I had a gift to cheer people up so when I started singing for the blind children the first time I bawled my eyes out oh. and everyone did and it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life not dying on stage or laughing on stage singing for those kids and the ones that I perform for are like seven years and under Mm. And every year there's some magical gift. One year I was tackled by a young man who wanted to feel the songbird. Another little girl wanted to touch my face because she told her mother there was an angel in the room oh. and she had to touch her. Oh. oh my gosh, every time I think about I it, I cry. cry. Just oh, amazing. So and another year a little boy 
a, one from a set of triplets walked up to me with these Coke bottle glasses going, Demetra. He said, why do you go, ah? And I said, well, because I'm singing high and I have to sing loud. And he said, well, if I buy you a microphone, will you not do that? <laughs> so there are a hundred people in this room. I, maybe we were too close. <laughs> or, but you know, the audio they, was compensating I, the for that. They, the teachers never know, and I just say, don't worry. They want to touch you. They want to mm -hmm. feel vibration. Right. It's absolutely the most wonderful thing I get to do That's all year. That's amazing, and God bless you for that. Oh, Seriously, thank you. He I gave know. me the, the tools and the courage for it. Right. And then I'm going to sing for the cancer um, clinic at Cedars, and I'm hoping to get some of the patients, but I'm I'm going to sing for the cancer staff that no the one ever does anything high for. Five. Thank you. The nurses and the doctors. Of course, so. the caregivers, yeah. the ones who are there. They're in the front line. Cancer being one of the biggest epidemics anymore in the world. It's true. It's become an epidemic. But often, uh, I think that's very thoughtful of you because I'm sure that they have to steal themselves when they're dealing with, you know, all ages, all True. levels of True, and it's not economic. always good no. news, and you no. can't always help. So I'm there to give back that. and lift up. Right, exactly. So that's really a good thing, and I'm sure they're really going to appreciate it. That'll probably really bring tears to your eyes. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> okay, well, I follow you on Facebook, <laughs> and we should have that information at the bottom of the screen. We have Demetra's website address, which is, say it. Uh, oh, so DemetraGeorge.net. And I'm Demetra George the Soprano. Not there is the a psychic. psychic. <laughs> I know. It's not me. I wish. <laughs> no, you don't need it. Oh, thank you have you. angels watching oh, over you, so there's you. no need for that. No. But uh, yeah, I noticed that's true. DemetraGeorge.net, because I accidentally got on the psychic page at one point years ago when we met. And that was funny, real quick, the story when I was covering an event, and it was at the, uh, what was the opera? It was at the UNLV. Was it the concert, or were you the, there for the, the caveat? Or okay. The caveat. Okay. But when I, Eileen Hayes introduced us really quickly, but she said, now you know that Gibby's got to rest her voice, and she can't, <laughs> don't, you know, you can wait till after the concert. So we introduced, and we looked at each other, started talking, and couldn't shut up. And Demetra, every time, you know, it was just like playing tennis or something, verbally. And Demetra kept going, I have to stop talking. I'm gonna. And oh, I go, we were okay. bad girls. We we visited for an hour, <laughs> and then you turn around and go, but, and I go, you know. <laughs> so it was really kind of funny. We it had was girlfriends at first sight. Yes, it thank was. You, and honey. that's a blessing to oh, me. You thank know, you, to, dear. To be included in that whole circle that you have, and um, so your itinerary after your little weekend here in Vegas, you're going to be bouncing over to. Cyprus. Right, and prepare. Actually, uh, our youngest daughter's having some surgery next Monday. Then we're That's taking the luck. oldest daughter and her husband to our place in Cyprus for an anniversary celebration, two years. And then um, we go to Istanbul and we have uh, rehearsals with the children. So were the girls preparing. born in? Uh, no, you know, no, they're born in Newton, Massachusetts. Oh, well, of all places. <laughs> of all places. Uh, from Oklahoma to well, LA to actually, Newton, Massachusetts. Mike, Mike started with Shell Oil Company and then he went with Getty Oil Company, became the VP of their uh, Canadian division. And then he became, and so we've moved around a lot and then he became the president of Oxbow Corporation so while he was in that position the girls were born in Newton Massachusetts well, there and must be a reason for that too <laughs> really <laughs> it's you're just guided by angels I can tell you that stop and we've lived in California twice and uh -huh. he knew that if we didn't return to California which is sort of the pace setter of our country of in so many things between film and technology, that our girls would go away and never come back. Oh. So we decided it was the right move, and I'm glad we did it. Although in sixth and eighth grade, it wasn't really appreciated, but it worked. <laughs> Obviously, look how well they've grown. Beautiful girls, Thank and I you. just love them. I've met them, and yeah, they're, they're, they're just adorable. They look more like their daddy. They're dark complexed. But, they're gorgeous, and yes. people always say, are those the Kardashians? And I went, bite your tongue. <laughs> right. Those are my daughters. Right. They are beautiful. You. They gorgeous. are. And talented, Thank just like you. their mother. Thank intelligent, just like their father. They sing. And, and they sing and, and, and are really smart. Uh, definitely smart. And I cannot believe we're yes, out of town again. Yes, they didn't again. go into the business. Well, They're smart. <laughs> you know, that was your gift. So everybody else is, they're, you're all supportive of each One's other. One's enough. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a delight. I can't thank you enough for being you're on the so show. Welcome. I just adore you. Can't wait to see you. And we'll be back next week with some famous chefs here in Las Vegas. So see you next week. That's So Vegas saying bye-bye.